I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here is your latest weather on demand forecast. The snow did sure fall down fast and furious Monday night into the day on Tuesday. Nine inches officially fell at the National Weather Service, and believe it or not, stats kind of interesting here. That was the most in one calendar day since December the 17th, where we saw 13.7 inches. Now, of course, we did see if you string two days or if you string one overnight one day into the next day for a combined two days. We saw that in February and January, more than nine inches. But the one calendar day, I have to go back to December, which ironically, both of these, December 17th and April the 11th, are both out of astronomical winter. Go figure. Season total now comes up to 150 inches of snow, still 45 inches below average. But we're not quite done with seeing those flakes uh, fly quite yet. We don't see any flakes on the satellite and radar right now. This, the snowstorm is tailored off to the north and east, we do see increase the clouds though from the north, uh, rather from the south, and that means they're going to be seeing a little bit of rain, or at least sprinkles for the southern portion, mainly out of the viewing area though, towards Menominee County. A lot of that that I showed you there is not even reaching the ground in central Wisconsin. Drier air will continue to dominate our region. As we saw a lot of snow melting today, thanks to these balmy temperatures, which skyrocketed 23 degrees from where we were yesterday. Yesterday's high was only 30, we were 23 degrees better today and now above average. Uh, 46 and 26 are your averages there. 80 is the record set back in 1968. Notice though today, while it was certainly warm, we are starting to get some lake breezes. So inland, we're still in the mid 50s, places like Iron Mountain, Iron River, but elsewhere, Manistique's hovering around the 40 degree mark thanks to an 18 mile an hour gust from the south. And even some uh, very mild lake breezes off Lake Superior, at places from Munising, Copper Harbor, and even Houghton, they're now in the mid 40s there. We see on this map though, it tells us 54 from Sawyer, 51 in Green Bay, where they have a few more clouds down that way. But everybody else, we're seeing 60s off in the Dakotas, even downstate, not a bad day there for the Tigers to play near 60 degrees for a high temperature. So a closer look at this rain here, we see that it's going to be really a stark cutoff. Not a whole lot of precipitation with this, so that's why I'm only gonna throw in some sprinkles for us and the rest of us will stay dry. So that will be uh, no dampers on your Thursday plans, just some very light drizzle far south Menominee County as the low pressure system continues to move off to the east and then weaken as well as it meets the drier air and that will eventually win out. Mild temperatures though are going to be in store. Hope you enjoyed today. Get out and enjoy Thursday and Friday as well because they're going to be beautiful days and I'll show you here that they will not last from the six day forecast. Thursday's high though, surpassing 50 degrees for everybody, the exception being Manistique, 48 degrees for a high out that way. 56 though from Munising and same thing for Marquette. Warmest readings will be off in the west. Houghton, 58 degrees and Ironwood, 57 degrees under southerly winds. Now your TV six day forecast, talking about your Easter weekend here, late Friday night into Saturday, could see some rumbles, see and hear some rumbles of thunder and lightning and we are going to have some storms around on Saturday as temperatures spike into the 60s thanks to a warm front. But then for Easter Sunday, they will crash again right around 50 degrees for the morning highs and they will drop slowly throughout the afternoon hours into the 40s. And then next week looks very unsettled and cooler, even below average, where we could see some nights with some snow showers.